Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It's your boy, Kenny versus Poverty. And today is the day. I'm about to send out my first box of shoes. We come from poverty, man. We ain't have a thing. We come from poverty, man. We ain't have a thing. And I'm scared. I don't know how it's going to go. I have a couple of hurdles I have to work through first. And I'm going to take you guys on a journey. But before, let's look at the shoes one more time. <laughs> So, Air Force or Air Jordan One box, right? Clean. Uh, we might have to put something in here to preserve the box. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So, Look at somebody that. has placed a reasonable bid on the size thirteen. Jordan linens. Them well, look at, look at, look at these joints one more time. You talking about clean, clean. Boy, you talking about clean, clean? This is a clean colorway. This right here is a clean colorway. All right, guys, we'll get back to you in a minute. 12 seconds later. Shoe. All right, we're gonna print the little sticker thing. Yeah. All right, we're having some technical difficulties. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Let me see. That's yeah, not anything good. First time I printed out that, but Ooh, look. no shipping order. Order, name, condition, box, size, whatever SKU is. Skew. Skew. Yeah. All right, guys. So one of the major hurdles was trying to get the shipping label since I don't have a printer. And boy, wait till I get in the car to show you guys what's going on. So look at this damn shipping label. I don't know if this is gonna work. But we about to take it to UPS and see. Look how bad this shit look. I got the dollar store tape on the thing. How you doing? Thank you. We gonna make it work. Let's see. What's up, brother? I'm dropping a box off. I drop it off right here. Does it have a label? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Whew. All right, guys, I dropped it off successfully. The box looked horrible, but I'm going to update you guys once it says uh, they received it on just how the GOAT process works and how fast the payout is. All right, talk to you soon. So as you guys seen, those were the trials and tribulations associated with my personal first time selling some shoes on GOAT. So first of all, from the moment that I posted the shoes, the shoes are posted in other places as well. So I may get a notification from OfferUp of a person wanting more pictures, but then an additional notification from a scammer on eBay who wants to buy the shoes, but is direct messaging me to text some text now number. So everything is just crazy. I finalized the sale on GOAT. I then have to print the label. I don't have a printer. So you've seen what I had to go through to get the label printed. That part there was crazy. I now wanna ship the shoes as fast as possible so I can get paid as fast as possible, right? So the day after, so the notification for the sale came through that night, that next day immediately, I was on trying to get those shoes shipped so I could get the money as soon as possible. 
The shoes got shipped, they got verified, everything went through perfectly. The entire process from start to finish, I wanna say took about five business days. So not too bad. Those as you've seen were the linen Jordan ones, high top on the sheet. I got them for $120 off of, uh, off of Nike. It was a Nike restock. After tax and everything, I paid $132.30. I sold them on GOAT for $190. That is a cash out to me of $162.11. That's a total profit of dun dun dun, dun. $29.81. I didn't have to pay anything for the shipping because I printed out the label. And I didn't have to pay anything for the box because I ordered the shoes off Nike. They came in a box. I put them in the same box, baby. I put them in the same box, taped that joint up, and sent it on out of his way. So that's two, that's $29.81 that I got to the prop that I got to the pocket. That's profit. And that's what we do this for. So that was my journey with GOAT, guys. Please let me know about your journeys. Like, as my seller score increases, what happens? Do I do so? I don't necessarily know. I've read, but I don't necessarily know from experience. Once my seller score gets high enough, do I pay less fees? Do they authenticate faster? Do they pay out faster? I don't know what to do, or I don't know what happens. So, you guys, for all of you experienced resellers that sell on gold all the time, man, let your boy know, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to break in the game. That's what I'm. I'm trying to break in the game. I'm trying to have you give me the information so I can break in the game. That's all I'm saying. I appreciate you guys watching. Please, please go to the playlist that says shoe game. Watch the videos, man. Watch the video, watch the videos through the playlist of Say Shoe Game. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Kenny vs. Poverty out.